Do you remember a couple of weeks ago when I saw this tablecloth at the dollar store and I really wanted to buy it but they only had the circular size? I went to another Dollarama and they had the big rectangle one. So too bad I didn't have this one for the whole month. But we have it for a couple of videos. So I mean, I guess that's what matters. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I haven't shot a video in a while, so this is a lot of fun. Every year, Wet n Wild launches a couple of really interesting looking products for Halloween. Uh, this year they have quite the display. There's a bunch of stencils, there's a bunch of glitter palettes, a couple of uh, like cream palettes, some lipsticks, some nail polishes, uh, and some multi-sticks. Now I am a poor girl and I couldn't afford everything. I wish I had brought the stencils to show you just because it's kind of visually interesting, but like, what am I ever going to use those for? They weren't even like really interesting shapes. Like the only one I'd ever use is the scales and you've seen me on my channel before use just the wig cap for scales. So not necessary, but I did buy a couple of things. So first I bought this pastel palette. They also had like a, a palette that had more skin tones in it and sort of like bruisey colors and a little bit of like a dark red and a dark green. It looked more interesting to me, honestly, but uh, I feel like I have a lot of stuff like that because I have so much zombie makeup. So I bought this one because I have nothing like it. This one cost me $7.99 Canadian, and I bought it at Shoppers Drug Mart. Next up, I bought this little glitter palette. They had three different varieties of this. This one is in the Heavy Metals variety. I like this one the best because it had sort of a black, a gray, a white, and then this sort of pinky red on the side here. This one cost me $5.99. And then last but certainly not least, I bought two of their liquid catsuits. These are the two Halloween colors. Uh, this matte burgundy ready one is called Hexcellent. Uh, and like I said, it's like a matte burgundy. And then this one is a black with some like bluish sparkle to it. And it's called Shady Witch. I actually have two other shades of these Liquid Katsu lipsticks. I have like a peachy one and then I have the Nudie Patootie one. So I know I really like the formula. So that's why I didn't hesitate to buy both of these. So what we're going to do in this video today is I'm going to uh, just kind of test some of these on my face to see how they work. But first what we're going to do is we're, we're going to get into swatches of them so I kind of have an idea of how they work. Because for the most part I don't know what the Wet n Wild Cream Formula or the Glitter Palette is like. So to kind of get an idea of how those work, let's do some swatches.
And now we're back. It's funny because I had always been sort of intrigued by these wet and wild gl glitter palettes, like wondering if they were any good or not. And from the swatches we just did, I can kind of, you know, it's kind of what I expected them to be not super, super pigmented. Like, I'm sure if you really build it up, you can get them really glittery, but it just doesn't work the way I was hoping it would. Which is unfortunate, but I'm actually really surprised by the uh, pastel palette because this one had a lot of pigment to it. Uh, like I said before, I kind of was, uh, gravitated more towards the other one because it had more, like, zombie bruisey colors. But now that I know that the quality of this one is so good, I could use the pinky or the orangey one as blushes. Now, my immediate reaction when I saw this palette was, okay, great, we're gonna do some kind of big purple smudge thing around my eyes, right? Uh, and then you, you look at the back of this and it does specifically say, not for use around eyes. So, we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna do some sort of cheek thing. So... Maybe we'll use the top row on one side of my face and then the bottom row on the other side. Or should I use these three on one side and then these three on the other side? Maybe that way. Yep, yep. So we'll just use my finger and take some of this orange and just see what we can get. Look at that. It doesn't look very orange on my face. That's like, that is so much more than I was expecting. I can't remember if I said this or not, but all I have on my face right now is, uh, like, a tint. So I put on the First Aid Beauty skin tint. I didn't powder it or anything. And then, obviously, I filled in my eyebrows. And then we're gonna go into the pink. And we're gonna do it in, like, a less space. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna take the purple and just kind of put her right here. Ooh, it's like a much brighter purple on my face than I thought it was gonna be. I was worried it was gonna look very bruise-like, but I don't think that looks like a bruise. That's a cute little look. Now we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna go with yellow. All around here. So while I'm blending this in, I want, I was gonna do a whole separate video on this, but I'm kind of running out of time. I've even double uploaded a bunch of days this month and I still don't have enough days. But I really wanna know like, what is your favorite Halloween time movie? Obviously you can watch movies that are geared towards Halloween time any time of the year. I mean, heck, I've been known to watch Halloween Town in the middle of July. So it's not like you have to watch it, but you know, sort of thematically, what's your favorite Halloween time movie? We'll go in with the mm, blue, blue before green. I also saw The Shining for the first time recently. There's a really good movie. I've always found Jack Nicholson to be terrifying, like just as a general rule. And I've only ever seen him in like, because I hadn't seen The Shining, I've really only ever seen him in like rom-coms and that sort of thing before I ever even saw him as the Joker. So I know Jack Nicholson as, you know, something's gotta give. But he still scared me. He's just got a scary face, like the kind of guy who's gonna lose his mind at a moment's notice, you know? I watched The Ring the other day. I've kind of been trying to watch a movie every day this month, and a new movie if I can, like one I haven't seen. I really like The Ring. Really liked Nightmare on Elm Street. I watched the original one. Like back from the 80s with a very young Johnny Depp. I watched The Exorcist, but honestly, unpopular opinion, didn't love it. I just felt like for all the hype it has, the storytelling wasn't as concise as I thought it was going to be, you know? Like, I guess I stopped paying attention at one point and I didn't notice and then I got confused. Which is like really not a positive thing. What else have I watched recently? I hadn't seen Misery before, which is the intense Kathy Bates movie. Love that one, but I also just love Kathy Bates as a general library rule. Now we're going to the green. Ooh, I also watched Sil Silence of the Lambs. Did I just, I just went into the blue again, didn't I? <laughs> nope, this is the green. It just looks more blue, I didn't know. But anyway, like I was saying, I just watched Sil Silence of the Lambs recently. That's a very different movie than I thought it was gonna be. But I really enjoyed it still. 10 out of 10, would watch again. As you know, I hadn't seen Hocus Pocus until this year, but now I have seen it, and I've seen it quite a few times now. I really enjoyed it. Okay, I feel like <laughs> the blue side turned out much more intense than the pink side. 
So the pink side is definitely wearable as like blush and whatnot, but I don't think, like I think if you're going for like a mermaid look, this blue side is awesome. I think I need to like really pink up this side more, don't you think? Aw oh, man, look at my sponge. So this is unrelated to the Wet n Wild stuff, but I did a ColourPop order again, and I got their Ooh La La palette, which is the palette they launched on October 3rd for like Mean Girls. I really wanna go in with the shade Sandbar, this like electric pink, and it actually might brighten this up enough. So what we see? Oh yeah, here we go. So yeah, in the comments below, I wanna want hear your either, like your favorite family-friendly Halloween movie, like Twitches or Nightmare Before Christmas or Corpse Bride, that sort of thing. Or I wanna hear like your favorite scary movie, like The Shining or It, The Exorcist, Tons of the Lands. I did this, like I way overdid this. And just so I have something on my eyes as a base, we're gonna go in with uh, the shade Softcore. I hate that name, why'd they do that? The rest of these all have like names I can do, like they're all pretty tame, and then there's just one in here called Softcore. Why'd you do that to me? Okay, so now that I look really discombobulated, we're gonna, hmm, should I do my lips first or my, we'll do my lips first. So I really wanna wear the black one because I wore the red one today, and um, from the swatches, it tells me that I'm gonna need a lip liner underneath it. So this is the Bite Lip Liner in the shade 56. Um, if you follow Sephora on like Instagram, they've been doing these weekly wow things where things like randomly go on sale. And the Bite Lip Liners were on sale a little while ago from only 10 bucks each. And that's why I bought the black one. I couldn't afford $20 for a lip liner normally. I don't mind having to wear a lip liner under a liquid lipstick if it's gonna be like a really dark color like this, you know? See, look how nice that looks. So what I really like about the liquid cat suits is they really do dry matte. Like, my lips don't stick together at all. There's like hardly any transfer. They really wear very well and they dry. Like this one is sparkly, but the other ones dry like actually matte finish, but they don't feel super dry. Like my lips were really dry when I put this on and they feel fine right now. Uh, so if you're looking for like an inexpensive, good liquid lipstick, I really like these ones. You can't go wrong. And then I'm a goth at heart, so I love these Halloween shades. How come my eye looks so much darker over here? What did I do? So now we're gonna try these. Maybe I'll try the little applicator that comes with it. Maybe that helps. Which shade should I try though? One of the, like the dark ones? Like should I try this one with the silver or just the straight up black? Like maybe just the straight up black. Like maybe you just really have to like build it up. I really like Wet n Wild, so I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here. Oh, come on, bud. I just, do you see what I'm saying? Let's just go in a third time. I feel like I just put Oreo crumbles on my eyelid. I really appreciate Wet n Wild's inventiveness because I haven't seen anyone else ever really try like glitter in a gel like this. That's like eyelid safe. Like they have, but I just can't, I just can't do it, you know? I don't get it. I mean, it's not like the sparkles aren't sticking. Like, so it's not like it needs a base to stick. It just, I don't know what the answer is. Like, I really feel like if you want sparkle, loose glitter and a glitter glue is the only way to do it. Unless you use those Stila, like, Magnificent Metals things, but I've never even tried those myself, so I don't even know. I can't confirm to you that they work the way they're advertised. Maybe all those YouTubers are sponsored, I don't know. It really does just look like I put Oreo crumbs on my eyelids. Mind you, out of all the things I bought, for only this one to not be good, I mean, that's a that's pretty much a win, right? What if I stick my finger in the white one and then I just... Oh, see, that's pretty. You just want some light sparkles like a unicorn. What if I go into the silver for the other cheek?
Okay, not bad. So if you just want some, like, light sparkles to put, like, on your cheek or whatever, this palette's not awful. Uh, but if you want to do, like, a whole eyelid, don't do it. Don't like this. This is surprisingly great. I don't really know what I would use it for, specifically the uh, whole bottom row and the yellow. Like, the pink and the sort of orangey, like I said, I could use those as blushes, but... I just kind of wanted to get it to try it for you because I had no idea what Wet n Wild creams would be like, you know? Are they going to be awful? Are they going to be greasy? Are they going to be good? These are high quality creams. And then I just really like the Liquid Tatsu formula, so I knew that was going to be a winner, but I was really happy to see a sparkly black and a dark red because those are my jams. Don't forget to leave me your favorite Halloween time video in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Hi. Okay, so I just got finished shooting this video. And I was in the bathroom washing my face, uh, getting little black flecks and sparkles all over my face, thinking, man, like, these are hard to get off my face. Uh, and then I finally get, get them all off, and I come back in here, and I'm looking at the packaging, looking at ingredients and that sort of thing, and I notice, in tiny little letters, it actually does say on the back of this, not for use around eyes or mouth. So, on the pastel palette, which I specifically didn't use around my eyes, it says it in nice big letters, but on this one, it's at the very bottom in tiny letters under the address. So, basically what I'm trying to say is, I just use this on my eyes, and you should not do that. So, don't do that. Don't make my mistake. But now that I know you're not supposed to use this on the eyes or the lips, I guess a glitter lip is something I didn't even think of doing, but now I know you can't do that. Like, what is this for? Like, it doesn't have enough glitter packed into it to be, like, a really cool effect. It doesn't really build on top of itself because the gel just gets stuck to itself. So, I guess it's just for, like, glitter accents, I guess, if you want a little bit of, like, a sheer glitter somewhere. But I'm not totally sure. But anyway, just thought I should come in and tell you that I use this on my eyes and you're definitely not supposed to. <laughs> Next time, read the whole package and not just a part of the package, I guess. And I thought I had read the whole package and I guess I didn't. Okay, now goodbye for real. See you next time.